I know it's fun to play around with core image filters, but we have a project to finish, so I want to introduce you to a new function, UI image write to save photos album. This method is exactly what its name suggests. Give it a UI image and write the image to the photo album. It takes four parameters, the image to write, who to tell when writing's finished, what method to call, and any context. The context is just like the context value you can use with KVO, as seen in project four. And again, we're not going to use it here. The first two parameters are quite simple. We know what image you want to save because it's the processed one in our image view. And we also know that we want self, the current view controller, to be notified when writing has finished. The third parameter can be provided in two ways, vague and clean or specific and ugly. It needs to be a selector that lists the method in our view controller that will be called and is specified using hash selector. First, let's write the method name we're going to be calling. This is very specific and you've got to get exactly right otherwise with hip problems. So I'll scroll down and make some space for the new method. And we're going to write at obj c func image underscore image UI image, the image to save, did finish saving with error. And the error is going to be error optional error with some sort of context info that was passed in, which will be an unsafe raw pointer like that. That's the method we plan to call when our image has been saved to the photo library successfully. Now previously we'd had very simple selectors like hash selector share tapped. And we can use that approach here. Swift allows us to be really vague about the selector we intend to call. So we could do hash selector and then just image. And yes, that approach is nice and easy to read, but it's also really vague. It doesn't say what's actually going to happen. The alternative is to be very specific about the method we want to be called. And it provides much more information both to Xcode and to other people reading the code. So it's generally preferred. To be honest, this particular callback is a bit of a wart in iOS, but the fact that it stands out so much is testament to the fact there are so few warts around. Anyway, we're gonna use this method here, did finish saving with error. We're gonna call that from our save method. Let's call when the save button's tapped. So inside there we'll write UI image, write to save photos album. This will want some sort of image, I'll temporarily use image view dot image forced unwrapped. The completion target uh, where to call the method is going to be self. For the selector, we're going to write hash selector and then use image and choose did finish saving with error and select that. And see it enters this long string here. That's the exact identifier for that method call rather than having hash selector image. And for context info, we'll just send back nil. So there's no context whatsoever. Now this thing here, force unwrapping the image is problematic because it means if there is no image, I, if you press save straight away without importing anything, it's gonna crash. So a better idea is of course to carefully unwrap that. And we'll say guard let image equals image view dot image else return. And use that for the first parameter. So it won't crash even if there is no image in the image view. From here on, it's easy. We just need to write the did finish saving with error method. This must show one of two messages depending on whether we get an error sent to us. The error might be, for example, that the user denied us permission to write to the photo album. This will be sent as an optional error object. So if it's nil, we know there was no error. This parameter is important because if an error has occurred, i.e. the error parameter is not nil, then we need to unwrap the error object and use its localized description property. This will tell users what the error message was in their own language. So we'll scroll down and find our new image did finish saving with error method here. And we'll say, if let error equals error, so if there was an error passed in, then we're gonna say let AC equals a UI alert controller. The title being save error. And the message will be error dot localized description. Preferred style will do dot alert. And then AC dot add action, a UI alert action with a title OK, the style default, and no handler. 
else. If that, there was no error at all, we'll do let AC equals UI alert controller with the title of saved exclamation mark and a message. Your altered image has been saved to your photos. For a style is still alert. I'll copy and paste the AC add action title OK line like that. And then present AC animated true. Boom. And so all being well now, if I press Command R, the whole thing should work. We should be able to import pictures using UI image picker controller, manipulate them using our core image filter and our UI slider, then save them back to the library again. So I'll press plus, choose moments, select this uh, waterfall again, press choose. Uh, select the right amount of sepia. Let's do lots of sepia and then press save. It there's our warning out at the very beginning. We need to work the photo library. I'll press OK and boom, saved. Save to your photos. So I'll press OK. Then I'll go back to the home screen. That is a Command Shift H on the uh, keyboard. Uh, then look for photos and try and find it in there. Yes, watch your photos. Thank you very much. And there we go. Boom, today. Our new saved image right there in sepia tone.